Let's go to Dollar Tree and find new vinyl we can craft with. Have you crafted with your vinyl yet? You can find these year round in multiple colors and actually textures. I'm gonna fuse these that I already had at home and I love the variety of color. They have six inch as well as 12 inch. And we're gonna start with this wood round. You can find these year round at Dollar Tree. This one happens to be from their summer section. I'm gonna remove everything, including sanding down the surface to remove the glitter. I'm gonna wipe it well. This is very important because I want that vinyl to stick. I decided to paint about two thirds of the bottom portion of the wood round. This is just gonna lighten that background. So when I place the white vinyl, it's not gonna see through. I'm gonna use a piece of vinyl that I already had on hand. This was left over from a different project. And I'm just gonna easily remove the back. It's as easy as peel and stick. And then I'm just gonna cover again, two thirds from the bottom. Make sure that you stick it really well. And then I'm gonna use my electric sander to remove the excess vinyl. You don't have to use this. You can use an X-Acto knife, scissors, or even a hand sanding block. I just happen to love the electric one because it leaves it so smooth. I'm gonna do the same thing with the blue one. This is looking so beautiful. All right, we're gonna bring some clings. These window clings that you can currently find at Dollar Tree. I did this video a couple of weeks ago and let me tell you, they're so easy to work with. You literally also peel and stick. Now the vinyl has this glossy finish that these clings stick as if it was windows. I loved it. So I'm gonna place several of them here and there just to kind of fill all that bottom. And then I'm gonna cut any excess with my X-Acto knife. The beauty of these clings is that you can peel it off and remove it as many times as you want, just like you see here. All right, so now it's time to add some ribbon and some embellishment to the top. Dollar Tree has beautiful ribbon in stock currently. I'm gonna use this orange one. I'm gonna make a very simple bow. I'm gonna loop it just like an awareness ribbon, scrunch it in the middle. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ribbon. We're gonna tie it in the center with some jute string. And what I love about this other ribbon is the colors match beautifully with the design of the wood around that blue and the oranges, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna do the same thing and tie both together with some jute string. And then we're just gonna attach it to the top portion of the wood round with some hot glue. I am going to cut the ribbon in a dovetail design and they're both just going to match each other and look very clean and professional and then i'm just going to add some greenery picks i'm going to add one on each side underneath the bows that way it's just going to fill it up and kind of bring everything together and then right in the center dollar tree has currently such beautiful fall foliage grab any flower you want i picked this yellow one for a pop of color and placed it right there I am going to add more orange ribbon, hot glue it to the back, and tape it for a more secure hold. This is so that we can hang it. Look how stunning this looks. The colors and those clings, I got to tell you, they are a great find currently. The next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with this wooden plaque. You can find these in their crafting wooden section all the time. And I found this one and I'm just gonna sand it down a bit. They are a bit rough to the touch. So just sand them down just a little bit. Wipe it well, remove the sticker. And this one we're gonna stain in this Rust-Oleum chalked glaze in their brown tone. It works just like a stain. However, it is water-based, so it's so much easier and it dries so quickly. I use gloves to protect my manicure, but really it comes off really easy. I'm gonna take another one of those wooden plaques. This one is a round one, sanded it, wiped it, and for this one, we're gonna paint white. I'm just using Waverly Chalk Bin in the white, and I'm just gonna do one coat. That was sufficient. We're gonna set aside those two items and let them dry. Now I'm gonna take some cardboard. If you have cardboard from boxes, use whatever you have. I happen to just buy this one at Dollar Tree. They have cardboard boxes that you can purchase. I'm gonna make several, what it looks like leaves, but they're gonna be feathers. We're gonna create a super adorable turkey that you can use in any place in your home. Wait until you see this one, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna create eight of them. Two of them are gonna be five inch, two of them are gonna be six, two seven, and two eight inches. The blade knife that I am using is 
amazing. I've mentioned this before. If you work with cardboard, even foam core, this is such a wonderful knife to have. I have it on my Amazon store, so it is linked below if you want to check it out. On another piece of cardboard, I am going to mark about eight inches high, and then I'm going to create what will be the neck and the head of the turkey. So I just kind of eyed it out, just freehanded, and then I'm going to cut it again with my blade knife. Now we're going to start covering everything up with some vinyl. For the head, we're going to use some white, and we're going to use the same process. Just cut a piece that fits it, remove the back, just like peel and stick, place the cardboard, and then remove the excess with an X-Acto knife. My X-Acto knife is very sharp. I highly recommend a sharp one. Just makes it so much easier. For the feathers, we're just going to alternate some colors. You're going to see I'm going to use multiple beautiful colors that can really translate into fall very nicely. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And I have those links down below in the description box. So when you're done watching, make sure you go check it out. All right, we're going to place everything together now. We're just going to start with the smaller ones. And we're going to attach them with hot glue first. And then we're going to staple them. And then I'm going to move on to the medium-sized ones and keep going all the way up. These feathers are going anywhere. All right, so it's looking so cute. I am going to attach the head and the neck portion with hot glue and also some staples. And then we're gonna hot glue the round wood piece right in front. I wanna give this turkey a cute little face. So I'm gonna create a snood just using some burgundy vinyl. I just kind of freehanded it and cut it with my X-Acto knife. Again, I'm just gonna remove the back like a peel and stick and then just place it right there in his face, kind of like where the nose is gonna be or the beak. So then for the beak, I'm just going to use some yellow. I'm going to cut it in a triangle shape and place it right on top. For the eyes, I thought about using permanent marker, but I had these googly eyes. Why not? So I'm just going to high glue a couple right there. For the round circle, I felt like something was missing there. I'm going to use another one of those window clings. So easy. This time we're going to use Mod Podge to attach it. Of course, we're going to place it right on top and then we're going to place more Mod Podge right over it. This is going to seal everything. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. This beautiful ribbon, another gorgeous find at Dollar Tree. I am going to make a very simple bow, just fold it and then scrunch it in the middle. And I'm going to use this uh, plaid one that complements it very nicely. Make a smaller one and place it right in the front. I'm going to tie with some rope and hot glue it to the bottom of the neck of the turkey. So cute. I'm going to use these cute little yellow sunflowers that you can currently find at Dollar Tree. Cut off the wire and hot glue it right in the center. This turkey is adorable. You can leave it just like this and place it on any tabletop or a mantle, or you can add a clip to the back and you can hang it. I think it's gorgeous. For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna take this wooden board that I use a couple of years ago when I did a huge wall sign. I'm going to paint the edges white. I'm just going to do the edges. That's all that is needed. And then we're going to cover the middle portion using vinyl. This vinyl is a beautiful buffalo check style, white and black. I'm just going to mark with a pencil first, kind of like to see where I need to cut because we're going to give this a very special look. I want the edges to have a nice design. So instead of just cutting it straight, after I cut it, I'm going to cut it in a wavy design so that all the edges have this style. All right, my friends. So I launched my very first online course, and it's all about how to integrate power tools into your crafting. If this is something you've been wanting to do, I have a link down in the description box where you can find all the information. It's very affordable, and you can go at your own pace. And I give you tons of visual examples. So check it out. It is linked below. All right, so once I placed it on the board, I realized that you don't see that edge too much. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more with the X-Acto knife and remove the excess, and then you'll be able to see the white a bit more. I just think it gave it a really nice, cool vibe. All right, so now I'm just going to measure here and there. I'm going to use some foam core to make some large letters. We're going to spell the word fall, but in this case, we're just going to do the F and then the two L's. So I'm just going to keep cutting using my uh, square ruler as the thickness for each letter.
Once I had the letters cut, I'm gonna use several vinyls. These are all six inches. I have a beautiful glittery style orange, then a yellow and a burgundy. I'm just gonna cover each letter and then remove the excess with my X-Acto knife. And one more thing, I would love for you to join my email list. I email just once a week with updates on uploads as well as any new news from my business and channel so if you want to join the email list you can check it out it is also linked down below all right so we're going to keep covering them and then now we have a beautiful style fall sign the a is going to be this beautiful flower from dollar tree so i'm just going to hot glue the letters that's it and i'm going to hot glue the flower i mean it is so easy if you don't have a board like this one just use cardboard use foam core whatever you may have even things from dollar tree that you can use i think this sign is absolutely stunning this next dollar tree diy craft i'm going to take this pumpkin from their pumpkin designs and remove everything from it scuff it up a little bit with some sanding and wipe it really well then we are going to place this buffalo check vinyl once again and we're going to place it over the entire pumpkin this is one i did last year which is why you see my hand wrapped up i had recently had a procedure done on my wrist so i was still recovering but i wanted to show you because i just thought it was gorgeous all right so we're going to cover it up and again we're just going to remove the excess vinyl this time i'm going to show you how i did it with my exacto knife now you can use again the sander which i prefer now if you do it with an exacto knife I would just go all around and then when you're done, just sand it on a downward motion with a sanding block. It gives you a similar effect. Not the same, but very close. Dollar Tree also has an entire section of full leather. Recently, I did a video using these. You guys love them. They're such versatile. I'm gonna take a piece of the white one that I had left over, and I'm just going to cut off a rectangle. Then I'm gonna fold her somewhat in half, and then I'm gonna curve the corners. It's gonna be an inward curve though. We're gonna create a cute little design to place right in the center of the pumpkin. We're gonna adhesive spray it and then place it right there in the center. Now, you know that I love Dollar Tree stickers. I use them all the time and they have an entire section in their crafting aisle with tons of stickers. I'm gonna take these beautiful farmhouse style ones and I am gonna take one of the larger ones because we're gonna place it right there in the center. It already has the little sticky portion, so put it right there. Now, I wanted to add a little stitch look to the design, so I'm just gonna line the entire middle portion with a permanent thin marker. Now it's time to just add some beautiful embellishment. This is another beautiful ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna make a very simple bow and scrunch it in the middle. This one's gonna be double loop. I'm gonna tie it in the center and then we're just gonna hot glue it to the bottom of the stem, just a little bit lower. I really wanna see that stem on this pumpkin. And then I'm just gonna add a few more things. These little leaves I have left over from a different project. I'm just gonna add it right there in between the loop and the leg of the bow, one in each side. And then to finish it off, I am basically just going to add a cute little pumpkin right there in the center. This is just going to bring everything together, add a pop of color. But you can use any designs, any color, any decor you want. I think this pumpkin is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. This is it for today, my friends. Let me know which one is your favorite and I have another video here for you with tons more Dollar Tree DIY crafts for fall. Click it, I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.